I was just about to heat a frozen pizza up on an ordinary Tuesday night when I stumbled on a channel cooking food for real and it taught me how to do it right. Oh, chef, never been a more delicious way to unwind. Oh, chef, she's got the secrets to chef let me readjust my ears since we missed you guys on actual halloween i decided i would make up for it by being a heckin spook today um wait we were making up for it i didn't know i that. was well you know this just didn't seem out of the ordinary at all no of course so not. i didn't know we were doing anything special. it's new so let's show off the new onesie day oh, okay. <laughs> so hi guys welcome back to pole chef i am your pole chef alana this is our prep ninja steve our sous chef for the evening and we have our sexy sound guy, Seth, in the background playing those sweet tunes. Um, if you guys have song requests, please throw them in the chat. Um, we are, we're still working on building out our library, but we always welcome new stuff. I can see a bunch of you guys are already popping the Oliver emotes, so I see all you subs out there, and please keep posting. Super adorable. That will definitely require an Oliver cameo a little later so that you guys can spam the shit out of that emote. For tonight's meal, we are doing something relatively simple compared to previous episodes. We are doing uh, roasted chicken with acorn squash, carrots, and some roasted kale and some compound butter. So we uh, made cupcakes uh, this past Sunday for our spoopy episode, and it required quite literally a shit ton of butter. In for those who missed it log form <laughs> ah! oh god carrot broke oh no um so we have a shit ton of rolled up butter left over which is perfect for making compound butter because you have to break it into pieces and mush it and stuff so first things first okay can i request okay it's an italian log tsunami i'm gonna let seth take that one <laughs> <laughs> Um, first things first, as with every episode, we start with a drink. Right. What do we have on the menu for tonight? Today we have something very special. Sommelier. Um, brought to you by one of our viewers, uh, Karyotic, uh, brought this from, who did she give this to us from? Josh. Josh. Josh Hagen. Hagen. Josh Hagen is a friend of ours who, who makes, makes mead. mead really well um i know i personally have had his uh juniper berry skyrim mead way back in the day mm -hmm. this stuff i think it's what like 14 fucking percent alcohol or something there is not much left so we will be taking sips also because it's you know focus you <laughs> high alcohol, alcohol content and coconut water 14 percent alcohol there isn't much left no but that's good because i still kind of have a cold <laughs> And for this special mead, we have very fancy shot glass goblet things. These were actually uh, a gift to my husband and me for our wedding where we did our wedding shots. <laughs> so I feel like this is a appropriate glass to drink mead out of. It's like a tiny goblet. Yeah, no, it looks great. Do, 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 do. Mead. <laughs> Another... Do, 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 do. Mead. The, oh. the coconut is definitely... Yep, that's it. It's All done. right. I've killed it. All right. Hang on, though. I have a cough drop in my mouth. Yeah, don't... And that's going to really affect... The don't, that's going to mess with the mead. Um, you can use one of the uh, little bowls. Oh, I missed. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I can smell a little bit of the, like, I think it's coconut... I know there's like coconut, water, and pineapple something in here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get like the the smells. Yeah. I definitely, definitely smells coconut watery. Okay. 
I dig it. All right. <coughs> To Josh. To Josh. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Goddamn, that's good. That's a lot less, like... Wow. Flavor than I thought, but... Like, I thought it was going to be, like, really syrupy. Because, like, yeah. mead is like a honeyed wine, so it's yeah. usually very sugary and thick and sweet. Mm -hmm. But this is very clean. Yeah, the thing that I often hate about mead is how very thick... Sweet and just a little <clears throat> much it is. But this tastes like liquid diabetes. Does not taste like that at all. This is extraordinarily drinkable. It's very clean. And um, major kudos to you, Josh. Uh, how I do I that. get my hands on more? Yes. As a matter of fact, we are um, we're hosting a, uh, a, a like a Ren Fair sort yeah. of. Ooh, that would be perfect. Deal. And we're gonna, yeah, like I we're like gonna where have, your brain's going with we're this. gonna have like competitions, and there's gonna be uh, people like fighting for the prize of who gets to be the champion. It's gonna be like we're gonna make Ren Fair drinks, yeah, feats which of include strength, mead, yeah, <laughs> and feats of agility and and all of that stuff. And then we're also gonna have a full bar with beer, mead, and. Cider. Because uh, you can't have Renfair without bee stings and snake bites. It is right. just not done. Cannot. Uh, so basically everybody's just going to show up at the house and we're going to dress up like we're going to Renfair, but we're just doing it here. And mead is a thing that we don't currently have a way... It's like the one thing that we haven't really haven't figured, figured out an yet. efficient so, way to obtain. Josh. <laughs> so Josh, we're looking at you. Yeah. We may be hitting Hit you up, up soon. <laughs> I'd love to get more of this for the event. Uh-huh. The Emerald and I too love me some liquid <laughs> diabetes. Delicious diabetes. So, all right. Ha! For the record, this mead <laughs> made by a diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> well. Perfect. <laughs> makes sense. All right. So. I guess we have to do actual like cooking. Stuff now? Yeah. Here. I did remember to preheat the oven before I started this time. So there won't be a lot of uh, me trying to fill time while we're waiting. So right. prep the veggies first, and then while the veggies are in the oven, we'll make the chicken. And then hopefully, this will probably be a shorter stream than usual, which I gather won't be a problem for most of you guys, because I know most of these have been starting to creep up on the three hour mark, and we're all kind of tired of that. <laughs> so we will try and be as efficient as possible. So, First things first, we'll do herbs and stuff. Herbs and stuff. Herbs and stuff. I am pulling out my handy dandy recipe. So you're going to stem and mince the oregano. Oh. You can use, it says eight sprigs, but yeah, you can just one, two. Sure, yeah. That's a really dinky sprig. <laughs> two and a half. Whoa. Now that sprig's overachieving. <laughs> we can, I that's think, a try hard I think that's good. Because this is, I think the this oregano works. is, I'm checking to see, yes, because the oregano is going into the butter. So we don't want to over oregano the butter. Okay. So I think that'll be good for now. Worst case, we can just mince up more because we're just mixing it into the butter. Really. Yar. Yar. So herbs. There are other way. Yeah. So herbs, fresh herbs at least, I usually prefer. There is a time and a place for dried herbs. In things like a compound butter, fresh herbs usually give it a lot more flavor. If you're going for something like a soup or stew or a like a glaze of some kind or sauce, sometimes um, you can use fresh herbs, but sometimes dried herbs are better because they're not going to risk burning because they're already dried out. So if they are like low and slow kind of foods, dried herbs are usually more common. Spaghetti sauce, for example, uses a lot of dried herbs as opposed to fresh herbs, some fresh herbs. But um, when you're peeling or like picking off the flowers and, and de-stemming and everything like that, I've seen a couple of like kitchen gadgets, those like weird round things with all the different size holes and yeah. stuff in them. I'll be honest, I've tried them and uh, I, I I can't. I don't I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or like just using the wrong herbs or uh, what. 
Maybe you're supposed to use herbs. Herbs? Because yeah. there's a fucking H in it. <laughs> Bless you, Eddie Izzard. Just a kid. But yeah, so mm -hmm. like, <clears throat> peeling, it's also kind of time consuming to do it like bit by bit. So it's nice when you got like a nice solid stem this way and you just kind of rip it. Yeah, just peel it right down. Yeah. Oregano is very easy. It time's happens. a little more hard. Sometimes the, the stems of thyme are really soft, so it's I end up just like snapping it in half. Yeah, it's very consuming. You have to consuming. be very dainty. Tien, cake or death? Cake. I will have death. Wait, no, cake. Sorry, all out of cake. Do we have cake? We don't have cake. Damn it. We may have a cupcake or two left from Sunday. I think but... there's a half a cupcake <laughs> that I didn't eat that's still in there. <laughs> Wait, where? Nowhere. Oh. <laughs> Plus you. Nowhere, nowhere there is. There's no one off to the side. Just pull it through a strainer. Like a colander? That is not a terrible idea. That seems I don't understand. Like the holes in the in the strainer? Yeah, I get that, but why? Instead of the little I mean it'd be kind of the same concept, but Right. Why would that work when the other thing didn't? That's a good question. Only one way to find out. Hmm. But they also use like the larger ones for like kale and stuff. That's another one I can't really peel off the stem. Is kale? kale. Like there's no point. Well, yeah. I like mean... at a certain, you could, if you get it like from the big, like chunky woody end and like down to the more fragile tip of the stem. Uh-huh. Okay. But like, I don't know. I just do that with my hands. Uh-huh. I'm always afraid that like I'll get it through and then I'll pull it and like a handful of the end of it will come off in my hand and the rest will still be on the stem. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've never had a problem uh, trimming. Ha! Like an old man. Times are tough. <laughs> Thank you, Ender of Dragon. Puns are welcome in my kitchen, but you will get a groan. And welcome, <laughs> Ender of Dragon. I don't believe also we've welcome. seen you before. New to the chat. Yeah. Is it a light? Hashtag herb puns. Yeah. Glad you could be here with us tonight for this. I'm glad we're doing like an actual fall dish. Is that what this is? Yeah, like it's not Halloween, it's not Thanksgiving, it's not like a theme really, but it's like we've got a lot of like root vegetables and squash and mm -hmm. like really fall friendly ingredients. Sure. Which I'm about. Yeah, fall has always been a season that sort of confused me in terms of cuisine. How so? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. See, I'm confused. I don't know. Fall is fall is usually about things that... <laughs> Ender of Dragon has been summoned by Debstep. Thank you, Debstep. <laughs> Bring all the bitches to this yard. Even though there are no milkshakes. Yeah, no, fall, fall cuisine is usually surrounded by things that are hearty so like things like root vegetables gourds squash pumpkins a lot of things that grow in the ground and like different kinds of earthy things it's very earthy yeah. i think summer is usually very like fruity and bright spring is usually very you know kind of florally and salad related uh yeah, oh, the bowl Teddy bowl. Um, spring is often filled with like very fresh, salady, herby kind of things, and then fall is stocky. Winter is very, very hearty, so you get like overly indulgent stuff—stuff stuff you eat to hibernate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Mm, I could go for some hibernation. Right. I could do a heck of hibernate. There you go. Perfect. So we have. Beautiful. Finely chopped oregano, as oregano. they say, in here. Set that aside. So next, we are going to mince garlic with mince your garlic. handy dandy thingy over there. How much garlic? We need it. Okay, so what we need, what the recipe says we need, mm -hmm. is four garlic cloves. All right, that's five. Okay, throw one more in there. All right, just cause. There we go. Perfect. This, I believe, is half of this is going into the <laughs> half of this is going into the butter. The rest, I believe, is going in with the squash. Okay. As you mince and squish. Mincing and squishing. I'm reading ahead. <laughs> 
then garlic, half the garlic. Mm. Oh no, it's going in with the chicken. Is it all going together? No. So we will mince. We will still mince everything. I have. <laughs> you took my meat. Boom. No, <laughs> she wants to take your meat. Do you want to taste it? You can have some. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I shouldn't. Not yet. I don't. <laughs> Yay, Oliver! Oh, see, can he shell up here? Mm -hmm. I need. <laughs> wow. It's so strong. Huh. <laughs> Seems my tolerance is a bit higher than Deb Steps. <laughs> Where's the rest of the Where's the rest of the garlic go? Well, he ate something crunchy. <laughs> Well, that'll be, well, I guess we'll find out in an hour or two. <laughs> I hate it when a recipe does this. It's like, oh, mince the garlic. Put half the garlic in here. And then they don't, oh, here we go. Taste and add remaining garlic and zest if desired. Okay. So it's advising half of that garlic goes in the butter, but we can make the butter as garlic as, as we want. Okay. I am intending... I have set aside a little bit of butter to use to baste the chicken, mm -hmm. and then a larger bowl of butter, which is designed to be set out to soften, okay. um, so that we can mush it together with the lemon stuff and garlic and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Sponsored, not sponsored by OXO. <laughs> Someday. Someday, maybe. Oof. Ha! I, I, I like mead, but not by itself. I like mead with stuff. Like, I'm a bee sting kind of person. When I go to Ren Fair, I like mead and cider together because the tartness of the cider kind of cuts the sweetness of the mead a little bit. But I can never drink mead, like, by itself as a beverage in, like, a whole glass. It's entirely too sweet. I generally don't like <clears throat> mead at all. Yeah. Again, too sweet for me. Yeah. But this is very clean for a mead, but it is still very sweet to have, like, a lot of. For also it being, you know, 14% alcohol probably contributes to that a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, meat's supposed to be stronger. It's, right. It's supposed to be like... It's a honey wine. Yeah. There you go. Whiskey! Woot woot! Yes. Oh, actually, that reminds me, too. Um, we will be um, having our... Uh, our baker friend, Bria, that was here on Sunday, um, has offered to make us a cake for right. Ren Fair. Yeah. Um, that is going to be a bee sting cake, or bee sting themed of some sort, like honey, apple, mead kind of something flavored. I'm excited to see what she comes up with, but I like the idea of having a bee sting cake in general. That's neat. That's uh -huh. neat. You think she could build like a castle? <laughs> Probably. I mean, her cakes are really fucking amazing. Like, de the decorations this woman comes up with are insane. Yeah, well, I know. I've seen them. <laughs> um, More yeah. for me. Yeah, anybody that wants to come out to the thing, just look up Reston Ren Fair. Yeah. On Facebook. On Facebook. I think the event is public. Yeah. Maybe. Hit us up. Come hang out. It's gonna be a good time. I, I feel delicious. It does now, Ender Dragon. <coughs> or it's about to. <laughs> no, not really. It's just a party that we're having at our house that is themed about Ren Fair. <laughs> Yeah, because apparently we like a bunch going of to Ren Fair. Yeah, we like going to Ren Fair, but we also don't like going to Ren Fair. We like going, but we don't like spending a lot of money standing in lines and doing nothing but really drink and hang out at the bar all day. And then maybe do some shopping we didn't mean to. <laughs> so this is our way of trying to compile all of the things we like most about Ren Fair in one place with all the people we actually want to hang out with in a place that is safe and free to park at. Yes, exactly. And for where you do not have to drive after becoming... Uh, uh, Inebriated? I was going to say a little too merry. <laughs> a little too... A little more merry. A little more... A little much merry making. Too much merry. <clears throat> okay. So, so next we can do carrots. They uh, have been washed and scrubbed but not peeled. Right. Because we're on this we're... fall <laughs> thing. I'm going to get a bowl for that. <laughs> 
doing to the carrots you are cutting them into crossways just kind of like half inch rounds we're not cutting them lengthways because i think last time we did like almost like fries where we cut them like in half and then long ways quartered them we're just gonna chop 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 okay. and like coins thick ass coins like perfect that. yep perfect because we're gonna roast them so we want them to be thick enough that they're not gonna like shrivel up but yeah. Whoop. Sorry. Not for you, Cook. No, I didn't feed him dinner. Oh, well. I need to feed him dinner. He's probably like, where is my dinner? <laughs> well, when you're done with carrots, I can tag out and do it's the past eight o'clock. Ac acorn squash. Oh, that reminds me. I need the scoop. The scoop? The scoop. Acorn squash has seeds in it. Oh, yes. <clears throat> and I did pull out an extra pan just for the seeds so that Excellent. we can also roast those. Excellent. Because as we found with spaghetti squash and pumpkins and acorn squash, most squash that has those like large seeds, you can roast more seeds than you think. So I am all about using up more of the food, especially if it means I get a tasty snack. I didn't, we didn't get to eat any of the pumpkin seeds that we made last time because uh, the bowl of pumpkin seeds got left out and Oliver got up on Helped the table himself. <laughs> and ate the entire thing. The whole all of it. I mean, to be fair, they were really delicious. They were. For, they were a little bit dry, I think. Yeah. And I'm not sure how to counteract that. It's really just because those are uh, not the, um, not the edible ideal pumpkin. seeds. Yeah. Yeah. They are strictly speaking edible, but not Technically. ideal. Sure. We have pumpkins growing in our backyard now, specifically just for roasting seeds for and making pumpkin things. Well, no, we're gonna have them growing there because he's crapping them out in their own fertilizer. <laughs> they certainly aren't digesting. No, certainly <clears throat> not. I don't know. I know, we just throw I clean some, up the backyard. We just, if I just throw some acorn squash seeds into the backyard, do you think that they'll have acorn squash still growing back there? I don't know, man. We got a whole forest back there. Do you guys think it's worth a shot? Just to see? They probably won't grow after they've been roasted. Well, I mean, if we set aside some raw seeds, just like a, like a small handful, and then roast the rest of them. I'm not going back there to harvest. <laughs> I will, I will take that You know on. how much poop is back there? <laughs> I'm not going to throw it in the pen with Oliver. Where are you going to throw it? Like over in this corner between the pen and the deck. Oh. Where there is safe walking space. Granted, it is downhill, so, you know, I'll have to be careful, but I will absolve you from that responsibility as it, it was my idea. Okay. <laughs> also, if nothing happens with it, then it's a crapshoot either way. Crap shoot every morning. Nah. <laughs> Oliver! Hot baby! Yeah. I'll just wash my hands again. Hot baby. Potato! Good boy. That's beautiful, Seth. What was that? Yeah, what was that? Autumn leaves. Autumn leaves. Appropriate. Going season appropriate. Very appropriate. It looks like a finger. I know. It, it looks, looks like, so much like a finger. It looks exactly like a pointer finger. That's creepy. Like, just straight up finger. That is. Right? Tell me that's not a finger. <laughs> I'm holding up here. <laughs> that's really creepy. Yes. <clears throat> Save that one for posterity. It literally just looks like there's a finger just like hanging out. Did y'all just give us the finger? Yes, we did. Did you like it? <laughs> Carrots 
satisfying thing to chop, I think. They're pretty good. Because you get that like nice clunk from knife to cutting board yep. without like, having to put too much like angle on it. They're not too hard to cut. They're just hard enough. Yeah. There you go. Cool. So we'll stick those in a bowl. <coughs> and then if you want to tag out, I'll tackle the acorn squash while you feed the dog. I mean, I can do it. He, he, he doesn't need to eat. <laughs> right now. He he eats when I, I tell him it's time to eat. Because you're asserting your dominance over the, the household animal. Right. Doesn't John Mulaney have a bit about that? Yeah, that where he had like a, a dog trainer or something come to his house and was just like, <clears throat> oh man, the energy in this apartment is like way off. You're not the king of this house, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you need to assert dominance over your dog. Oh, because the dog eats before he does. Right. The dog thinks that, you know, she's in charge. And it was like this tiny little like French bulldog named Petunia. And she was like head bitch. This is like what are you doing? Leaning really hard. Look at that. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, this I think that's it's crooked as as shit. I think design not bug. You think? <laughs> okay. Maybe. I don't know. I see something crooked, I want to straighten it. Don't break it. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Alright, well, let me grab the acorn squash. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had acorn squash before? I think so. Most of the time it is like, so the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna top and tail. Yeah. And then we're gonna cut it in half mm -hmm. this way. And then we're gonna scoop <clears> out <throat> the seeds, set them aside, roast those, and then we're gonna cut them this way into like mouths, into smiles. Got it. <laughs> I'm tracking, I'm following this plan. Grandpa ate it with cinnamon. Oh, that sounds really fucking good. More uh, up and down, less. Yeah, there you go. Well, I had to get it started. Oh, gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> squat, large squash like uh, like this, butternut squash, pumpkin stuff like that. So if I tried to just go straight <clears throat> down, I'd slide off. Probably. So you have I, to get a little bit of a, yeah. a grip. I start it, and then. There you go. Yeah, are really hard to top and tail because the, the wax coating on them makes them really difficult to like get all the way through. Yep. But at least they're not as big. Yeah, so acorn squash are like, whoop. You're dropping seeds, woman. Tiny pumpkins. The dog's trying to eat it. Billy. Did you get it? No, I got it first. Yeah. Neener, neener, bitch. <laughs> So they're like tiny pumpkins. They've got like flesh and seeds and stuff. So we're gonna scoop these out with the uh, handy ice cream scoop of amazingness. Yeah, there's a fair bit of these. We're um, some let good me get a. Seeds in I had a seed bowl or something. I don't know. Seed bowl. While you do that. I'm gonna remove the meat. Ah, there we go. Like you mean it. <clears throat> so I'm just, just like we did with the pumpkins and the spaghetti squash back when as well. An ice cream scoop, a heavy duty one, and I actually posted the link to this one that I found on Amazon. Very, very affordable, and it's like solid metal all the way through it's not like a plastic handle or anything it is like this shit all the way down the handle and then coated in silicone so it's easy to grip i love this shit yeah it's a flower it's a flower it's a full flower and you want to try and get as much of the flesh out as possible as well because the more flesh that's in there. Unlike with pumpkins, the reason you want to get the flesh out of pumpkins when you're carving them is because if you put fire inside them, the little fleshy bits will actually catch on fire. Um, so it's more of a safety concern. But with food, it they just kind of shrivel up and get mushy when you roast them. How so thick? Um, I would say probably at least a finger's width. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you About can go. Half inch. Yeah, you can go between a half to half inch to an inch is usually good because it'll 
it's sturdy enough to hold up to roasting if it's thick enough, like yeah. most other ground vegetables. So we want it to be big enough that it'll cook, but not so big it won't cook all the way through and not small enough that it'll burn or turn to mush instead of roast. Gotcha. A finger thick. Mm. Unctuous SC. <laughs> yes, a finger thick, but only a finger thick. Yes. Yes. Did someone request that or was that you? No, it just kind of evolved from this jam. I don't I don't even care. I am happy. <laughs> when I didn't plunk preschool. Wow, there are actually kind of a lot of seeds in here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Damn. We're having a nice little snack. I'm always down for things that turn into chef snacks. Yeah. Creepy squash smile. <laughs> Her magical music, man. I love it. I'm stairway to heaven, Jesus Christ. <laughs> every I'm convinced that every stairway to go fuck yourself. <laughs> I, I'm I don't have convinced. Too much of a problem. <laughs> you say that now. You don't, the whole thing. don't jinx it. Right. I will play part of Stairway to Heaven. I will play the, the four step Stairway to Heaven. Um, but no, I'm convinced that like every performer. Or... To heaven. <laughs> Speed this up a little bit. That's. There was a movie in the. I want to say 90s or early 2000s. Um, it was like the Looney Tunes movie or something where they had the. They all went to like this amusement park or something and they had like. The bullet train to heck, and the stairway to heaven, or the escalator to heaven, yeah. or some shit. I know what you're talking about. I can't remember what it is either. That's all right. Yeah. We it lost did, our feed. It did the thing again. We <laughs> cannot see you, friends. We know you're there. I will fix it. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna fix it. Fix it, Felix. Ah. <laughs> Uh, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty convinced that every performer or musician has had a cliche song request based on their instrument of choice. Yeah. So like piano players get Piano Man, Stairway to Heaven, stuff like that. Guitarists get Freebird. Everyone gets Freebird. Everybody gets. I don't care. I don't care if you're playing a fucking kazoo. I'm gonna ask you to play Freebird. Yeah. Um, I've never played this on piano though. Really? I mean, it's not. Song. That's fair. Of course. I think, I think it's working. Yeah. It works if you work it, so work it. Last one. I feel like I'm like debraining a skull or something. You have much experience with that? Not lately. But in your formative years? Yeah, in, in a former life. Double well, some of these that'll be like more thoroughly cooked than others. True. Give us variety in the texture. Yeah. So I'm gonna do kind of what we did with the pumpkin seeds. And I'm just gonna fill this whole bitch with water and let them sit for a minute. And just kind of try and separate them out of the water. Go. Put your back into it. I did it. Huzzah. Okay, so now that those are done, we're gonna lube them up and stick them on a pan. All right. Because I think the oven is now officially preheated. So we can stick the veggies in the oven now. So there are two large pans underneath. The small one is for the seeds, so you can leave that where it is. Is this one? Yeah. That one and 
I got a second one for the carrots and the kale um, as well, just in case we don't have room for all of them. So stick them all on there. Here. And I will give you some stew. Yeah. These like actually need to be like flat in here. Um, they kind of do. do. Yeah. yeah, get them as flat as you can. I got a second one for a reason. Yep. Um, I think we're going to need two. Yeah. So we can do, well, that may help us um, not run too, too short then today. So we can do the squash first and then reuse the pans for the carrots and the kale. How long does the squash take? Um, I believe 40-ish minutes. Similar to potatoes. Okay. Hi, other potatoes. Yeah, he takes 40 minutes to do anything. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, let's see. Ain't in no hurry, are you, buddy? Mm -mm. He says, I'm 14. Mm -hmm. Single layer roast 10 to 14 minutes, flip roast 12 minutes. So yeah, about 20 minutes or so. So we can do that and a second pan and then flip and maybe 20 minutes or so and they should both be done. All right. Then we can stick in carrots and, yeah. which will be fine because the carrots and the kale don't actually need to go that long, nor do the seeds. Because these seeds are actually a little smaller than the spaghetti squash and the pumpkin seeds were. Mm -hmm. So these may not need as long to roast, especially since this bitch is cranked up to 400 degrees, and I'm not trying to burn them. Raw it. Raw it. Keith Richard. Greetings, mighty Odinson. We Hello, are making Odinson. Squash. <laughs> and only squash. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing else but squash. No, we are. Um, I'll just just be gross over here. Yeah, get back in the <laughs> frame, get back in woman. Frame. God. Um, so we are making roasted chicken with acorn squash, uh, kale, and roasted carrots with a lemon and herb compound butter. Do I need to like oil these things? Yes, hence the lube. The bowl was not big enough to, uh, you're going to want to rub them in. Yeah, I know. Okay. I know how to properly lubricate the food, Alana. You are you are well versed <laughs> in squash lubing. I mean, Squish I'm, I'm, Squish I'm, lubing. I'm, like a I'm well. I'm well, well versed in roasting vegetables. I'll tell you that. It's pretty much the same. Every vegetable ever made has been roasted the same way. Oil, salt, pepper, olive salt, oil, salt, pepper, oh, okay. heat, <laughs> fire. Are we? We're not salt and peppering these though. Right? Yes, we are. Oh fuck. <laughs> Hang on. Let me rinse off my covered in squash brains. Maintain eye contact with us. Oh. While you're lubing. Sensual lube. There you go. You want to get it all in the curves. In the creases. You don't want to miss an angle. The crevices. There's so many. This one's thick. <laughs> T-H-I double C. I can't, Assert dominance I can't on your squash. touch anything. Do you have a towel? You haven't touched meat yet. No, I can't. I can't. Oh. <laughs> How am I supposed to get the... Okay, let me do an assist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. It should be enough for both sides, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's not this broken. Is, this is fine. I like how some chefs just kind of like throw the pepper around. They're just kind of like, nah. I do. And that. just like fling it across the dish. I'm a pepper flinger. You fling pepper? I fling it. Fucking all day, every day. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome. Greetings. Carly hello. Snow 55. Welcome, welcome to our shit show. I am squishing seeds and a. Uh, our lovely sous chef Steve is sensually lubricating the squash. It's it's a little less sensual and a lot more gritty after we added the salt. There's a little more texture in there now. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think the squash is in it, into it as much as I am. But, <laughs> you know. Sometimes that's okay. I guess it's squash. It doesn't have feeling. That's right. You don't get a choice. <laughs> squash. <laughs> You're not a person. <laughs> I am going to eat you. Ha. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hashtag phrasing. Um, can you get the other? I, I can't. I am, <laughs> I am so oily. 
So just so you guys can see the uh, before the oven, thoroughly lubed and seasoned. We're gonna do it again with the other one. Yeah. And then we're gonna stick both in the oven. I was really, okay. Spray the oil. <laughs> I was really careful when I arranged this and then realized that I didn't do any of the rest of the steps. <laughs> And this is why our recipes take three hours. Not because we We're not trying to stretch. pack the time. We just literally lose track of shit and then forget what we're doing. That, that suggests that I ever knew what I was doing to begin with. Actually, that's fair. That is a fair assessment. We're ready. I'm ready for the salt. Why do you keep <laughs> doing? I don't know how long you need to lube your squash. You should. <laughs> Aggressive salt day. <laughs> Bless. Let's do it, yeah. The salt of Christ. <laughs> salt, salt, the, the salt spice of lasted. Christ. The spice of Christ compels you. Okay. Have at. Having. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this song. Yeah. <laughs> What? I like I like hearing like Why little... am I suddenly very depressed and <laughs> 17? <laughs> and also 17. <laughs> I really like like catching on to something that Seth is playing and then having yep. that moment where I realize what he's playing and I was like, yeah. alright, this song. I can't I played this song in my first gig ever. Wow. Really? When I was eight. Did you wow. did you sing along too or just play it? No, no, I wasn't a singer at the time. At the time. That was an acquired yeah. talent, acquired skill. <laughs> yeah, until I hit puberty. <laughs> At least that's it wasn't true. the other way around. Yeah, that's true. That's the way that I hear it is for like children's choirs. Yep. Oh absolutely. yeah. As soon as their voice drops, they're screaming. Yeah, the Especially the boys. Friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't have enough hair to like flip out of my one eye. <laughs> the song mm. is such a strong mood. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Salt. Salt, Salt. Steve. All of the seasonings in the world, Steve, and you choose to be salty. <laughs> well, I didn't choose it, it chose me. I did not choose the salt life. The salt no. life chose me. God, I'm gross. Alright, go wash your hands, washing, and then you can stick those in the oven. Washing my filthy, filthy hands. So these are, once I get this flesh off this particular piece, I'll come show you guys these seeds, but these are like way tinier than, I mean, the squash is also tinier than the previous squishing. So these will probably not take very long to roast at all. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, it just made like the wet. Why are you slinging the flesh at me, woman? <laughs> wet is squish. I'm trying to like get it into the sink. Be in, I'm trying to be in frame. And, and like do this stuff and then fling stuff into the sink so it doesn't hit the ground and feed the dog. So much is happening. Mm. Okay. All right. So that and the other sheet can yep. go in, in the, the oven. oven. Right in there. Okay. Yep, right in there. And we're going to set a timer for... No, it's over here. That one's mine. No. Oh, no, that one's yours. The other, one is, the other one's mine. The one that's leaning hard. <laughs> Lean back. Mm. All right. So, uh, ah. woo. <laughs> did your did your glasses fall out? Don't they every time? As a person who does not wear glasses, I do not suffer from this particular affliction. However, I do get the 400 degree blast in the face. Yeah. That like immediately clears out my sinuses the second I open the oven. I could use a little more of that. Or like I feel my eyeballs like immediately dry out because of all the heat. Um, so pole chef pole time. I want to know what everybody's favorite fall foods are. Alliteration not intended. Mm. Like it could be a dish. It could be like a particular fuck yeah stuffing. Fuck yeah, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. I, uh, yeah. I I have talked about this in the past, but I actually made a mac and cheese once that tasted like stuffing. 
that was, uh, it was a goat cheese and like rosemary something or other and mm. something about the way the herbs and the sauce like mixed together with cheese made it taste like stuffing so I called it my Thanksgiving mac. I like all of those words individually and together. <laughs> those all sound like things I like. <laughs> I genuinely didn't know Ooh, mac apple and cheese cider. had anything to do with Paul. <laughs> it, you know, it does now. Okay. <laughs> if it didn't before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Everything, everything's, everything's fine. fine. We're being dramatic. There's nothing happening off screen. You did, what, nothing. Was the penguin from uh, Madagascar? You didn't see anything. This is like a, te it's like a little, it's, it looks like a Pokemon. Everything looks, it looks like, like a Pokemon. It looks like a Sand What? It looks like a tiny Sand True. You have a twisted imagination. Yeah, well, you know. It's been a while. I thought I've been, been squishing good. seeds for quite a bit now, so it's... <laughs> Um, mm. let's go ahead and if you want to grab the kale, lemons, and the butter, we can work on that stuff. Butter? Butter. The butter. kale, the lemons. And the butter. Okay, what are we doing with these objects? So, the kale, when that comes out, the kale is going to go in probably at the same time as the seeds, because that's a leaf and these are tiny, so neither will need that long to roast. Okay. Um, we'll put the carrots in when the squash comes out because they're also a root vegetable, which will need more time. Um, so those will need to be oiled and seasoned, uh, the kale, I mean. The lemons will need to be zested, but not juiced yet. I will have to check, take a look at the recipe when I'm not done with this, but I believe we're putting the zest into the butter, and that is what is making it a lemon butter. Okay. So, oil and season the kale, Okay. and then we'll prep the ingredients and make the compound butter. So just yep. oil and salt and pepper? Yep, olive oil, salt, pepper, squish it around. Once again. <laughs> okay, I think I've gotten most of the big chunks, so I think I'm going to take a colander to this now. <laughs> I really like pumpkin pie. Me too. Like as your as a fall dish. But like when it's done right, you know. How? What? What does that mean to you? Oh jeez. Um, <laughs> oh jeez. I don't know. Uh, I can't say exactly. I know when it's done wrong. Uh, 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 if you could take out the slice of pumpkin pie and it maintains its shape. Okay, so not too like gloopy or soft. Needs to hold its structure? No, no, no. That's a sign that it's bad. Oh. It's too, like... You like it so it's oozy. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it's like one solid object. Yeah. Like, I don't mean, like, you That's can like take pie. a slice out, like, cake. You can take a slice out. I mean, right. like, you can literally hold it by the end, and it maintains its shape all the way through. Oh, and okay. doesn't fall apart. That usually means it's too, like, dried out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I follow. I've seen that a lot. Sure. Mostly in amateur mistake. diner windows and... Yeah, where food is want to dry out. That yep. makes sense. Yep. So... I feel like the color has a lot to do with how appetizing it is. I agree. Uh, I find one. that um, pumpkin pie that is a little too, like, yellow. Yeah. Or, like, not... I want that, like, want a nice deep, dark, too color. deep, dark too orange. Too light in general. It just looks kind of sick. Yeah. yeah, it looks like it doesn't have a lot of flavor going on. I agree with that. Yeah. Aesthetics on food are definitely very important. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Pumpkin pie. Okay. I think the kale is done. Okay. Perfect. Go wash your hands. Mm. This is going to end up on a plate probably... Ooh. What do you think about... Putting the seeds in with the kale, like mixing them together. Uh, Since they're both roasting. I think that the seeds are going to take a lot longer to roast than the kale. Do you, do, you, do you see how tiny these seeds are, though? I do. I don't know that they're going to take as long. Uh, well, okay, worst case scenario, we roast them separately, and if they cook at the same time, then we can... We're not used, like putting the seeds in the kale. No, like on the same pan. Because there's not a whole lot of either. Yeah, that could work. One way to find out. Candied with sugar. Ooh. One of my 
my favorite um, fall foods is technically a uh, food that we have at my mom's house at Thanksgiving. She, <clears throat> she makes this uh, candy maple candied duck bacon, which is like, Jesus. yeah, the most indulgent fucking thing I've ever put in my mouth. Sounds like it. But it is so fucking good. Like the, the maple caramelization on it. It doesn't make it rigid and like uh, crystalline like a like you'd think a candied thing would be. It makes it kind of it's still a little bendy. Like it's not rigid, it won't like snap or anything. Sure. It's still a little chewy, but it is goddamn good. And the duck bacon, I mean we did duck the first episode, so <laughs> you know how rich that is. I didn't have any. <laughs> oh, that's right. I don't like duck. That's right. Not a fan. I think you tried it, but it w wasn't really your thing. I did. I tried a small piece, yeah, and I went, it was, yep. It was very rich. That is exactly what I thought. And uh, I still do not like duck. Well. <laughs> but I am a weirdo. I don't like duck. I don't like bacon. You don't like parsley. I fucking hate parsley. <laughs> I would eat duck every day of the week for the rest of my life before I would eat parsley. That's fair. Internet says make the make what for 15 minutes? Who? Bake, bake what for 15 minutes? Seeds. I oh, the, the seeds? seeds? Okay, perfect. Actually, that is perfect, because I think the kale will probably only take about 10 to 15 minutes as well. Yeah. I love it when a plan comes together. What plan? <laughs> Literally, the only thing we plan is, like, what we cook. Then that's it. Most what? of the time. Even then, we, like, improvise halfway through, and we're like, well, hey, what if we do this? You know, my, my favorite part of all of this is showing up to the stream and going, what are we doing? What is happening? It's a surprise. To everyone. Including us. Including <laughs> us. <laughs> Which. But no one more than Oliver. Right. Which I have heard is an inadvisable thing to do as someone who's cooking. Like, don't cook things you've never cooked before. But... Is this another goddamn OXO thing? Yes. It's so fucking good. <laughs> like, we I, have, have used, we have struggled. I have used a number of, of different... Like zesters? Zesters. Like microplanes. And micro, called. really. That's what they're called. It's that called sounds like, That sounds like a fucking awesome toy that I had <laughs> when I was a little kid. A microplane? Fucking, yeah. It, well, sort of. It micro machines. Oh, got it, okay. Right. Does anybody remember micro machines? The little itty bitty, like, matchbox cars? Did that come out around the same time as Does anybody television? remember matchbox cars? I had matchbox cars. Okay. Anyway, yeah, this is a fucking great <laughs> microplaner. Um,. Again, by goddamn the OXO. OXO. Um, it's just. I like that it's got that like silicon mm. grip at the end, so you can like rest it on yeah. a board or something if you're flipping it like the other way. It's got a nice like wide, wide surface. I hate yeah. It like, zests the, well. The thing I notice about the microplanes or the zesters that they're normally, all too thin. They're like this fucking big. Yeah, and and I'm like, I get your have finger in there. I have no surface area. And they've got that like weird lip, so like you have to dig your finger underneath to like. Right. I hate that. We really should just actually reach out to OXO. I, I feel like I... at this point, like all of the thing, because it's specifically the stuff that we have issues with that we're so loud about. So like the measuring cups because they're angled, and the microplane because it's wide and well built. The garlic press because it's just amazing in general. No, we won't get to keep saying we're not getting paid to say this. Right. I mean, I so have no problem. Lose a little bit of our objectivity. That is fair. I think the fact that we're talking about it a lot before, <laughs> if we ever get sponsored, I feel like that might help a little. But then we can just say we liked them before we got paid, and now we get paid to say we like them. Honestly, <laughs> the, the thing I want the most. Oh shit! Yeah, it, Hot Wheels. The thing I want the most out of it is I want them to send us newer, like, other stuff to try out. <laughs> yeah. Oh right? yeah, like product reviews. I want to try every single. Thing thing in the OXO. What you got, OXO? Give right? me your catalog. Give Let me it try all. shit. Send it all this way. We will try it out, and I will give a review full of very detailed description and curse words. <laughs> I also, you know what I remember? Playmobil. Uh, what? Wow. 
It was like Legos, but like bougie. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. They had like little round figurines. Like with round heads. You didn't like they didn't stick to things like Legos did. Yeah. They were just like little Wait, plastic. Wait, that was the bougie? I thought that was the knockoff Lego. No. That was the they were very expensive. Weird. <laughs> Cause Lego ain't cheap. No well, that's also because you buy a lot of them. I do not. Green toys. Yeah. I buy a completely reasonable Nobody amount just buys... of Lego. Uh-huh. You can't just buy a reasonable amount of Lego. Then what's the point? The point is to buy hundreds of thousands and build, like, something really complicated and crazy. Or I'm doing Legos wrong. Uh, am I doing lemons right? Um, I am. You have zested. Let me double check and see if we need juice as well. Okay. Most of the time... I've never zested and not needed juice. That would be weird. Right. I, I think maybe for the chicken, but let me double check. <clears throat> Zest, have, and juice. Yep. So we will need a container for juice also. Right. Put it in this handy dandy liquid measuring cup from the way so. Um. Okay, I want to. Drop and tail. No, I want to do the thing that you showed the, me. The thing I do? Quarter, yeah, I quarter in DC? Yeah, the way you did it was cool. Yeah. So you top and tail the lemon. And then cut it in half. Yep, and then cut it in half again. Same way. Yep. So then effectively what you're going to do is you're going to cut the corner off the inside. Right. Right down the spine of it. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. And then you're going to use, um, you can cut probably a little more because you want like this m white middle yeah. chip. Don't be afraid of cutting in too deep. There you go. So then you'll use. In too deep and I'm trying to keep all the seeds and the lemon from getting in my food now. <laughs> yeah. So you'll take the, so you'll want to actually take the sharp end. Sharp end. Mm -hmm, and bring it like towards you. Towards. Yeah, so you're scraping against the grain I to see. try and like pop them out from between the... I think I got them. Yeah? Yep. Mm. I can't tell if that's a seed or just a... Nope, you got them. Cool. Alright, let's... Okay, I'm gonna rinse these out and then you should be ready to get oiled and put in the pan as well. Finally. These are a lot less, uh, they're a lot more watery, uh -huh. uh, the fleshy bits, more like the uh, spaghetti squash, yeah. as opposed to like the pumpkin, which was really, really fleshy, which was odd. I hate it when there's too much flesh. Too much flesh. Yeah, there's just the right amount of flesh. Plus, because it's mostly water, that means it'll probably shrivel up more, which is good, because then I won't have to worry about it sticking in the seed. Squish out the water. Okay. My god, that is a lot. Hmm. I have so many micro machines. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I had a bunch of micro machines, but uh, my other dog ate them all. Oh, wait, what? Like he was a bucket of popcorn, man. He just gobbled them up. What kind of dog did that? It was a bull terrier. <laughs> okay. Yep. What's his name? I can't remember. Ranger was his name. Ranger. He did not live very long. <laughs> After that point, you mean? No. Okay. He was cute. He was adorable. So now yeah. that we are done cleaning the seeds. That's so these boring. seeds from the acorn squash, you can see are significantly smaller than the seeds from the pumpkin and, whoop, there we go, and the spaghetti squash. So these will probably take a lot less time to roast. So we're gonna stick these in with the kale because the kale is a leafy green, so we'll also need not that much time to roast. 
Well, you should be good to go. What, what, what other type of green are there? Because there's leafy uh, greens. Starchy greens, like starchy broccoli. Green. Okay. Um, asparagus. What kind of green is that? Starchy green. Because oh. it's got like that woody, stocky celery. So we have leafy greens. We have leafy and greens, which is like... Starchy greens. Yeah, starchy greens. Then you have herbs, which I guess is technically like a baby leafy green, sort of. Okay. Mini leaf. Um, micro greens. Hmm? Micro, micro greens. Like uh, radish sprouts or uh, wheat grass. <laughs> okay, I just I've heard the the term leafy, leafy greens, greens. Used yeah. a bunch of times. And it's usually know. for stuff that's like actual leaves, like salads, arugula, spinach, kale, right, iceberg lettuce. I was just curious if there was like a like other varieties of green of greens. Yes. Yeah, Brussels sprouts. Yep. What kind of green is that? I mean, it's pretty leafy. Because it is just a tiny cabbage, basically. A good. little baby cabbage. You'd be great. <laughs> what am I doing with these lemons? Juicing them. All of them? Into this thing. Into that. Yeast. Okay. Juicer. That's my juicer. 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 Fruit juicer. <laughs> Butt scratcher. Mm. Fruit juicer. <laughs> I, like, I like that you whip that out like a butterfly knife. Well... We're gonna be started. <laughs> I trained for many years in the mean streets of <laughs> Green Briar. Say it West. out loud. <laughs> That's right. Back in the hood. The oh, hood. almost poured that right in the butter. Don't. <laughs> Interesting. What? I was expecting it to come out the bottom. It never does because it plugs it. Um, try putting it flesh down, skin up. Like upside down, no the other. I got a goddamn plan. I, I got a goddamn plan. That's right. I finally made a gif of that, and I was Did so you? happy because I could never fucking find it. I looked really hard for it, and I couldn't find it, so I decided to make one instead. God bless technology. Did I do? Herbs are dern. I do two up. Okay. And then, I and then you squish them both. Yeah. Interesting. It's always worked for me. Because you want this side, you want the curve to press into the meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so burst. it squishes all the life out of it. Yeah, it bursts all the uh, little... Capsules? What are they called? I, there is a word for them. Flash down skin up. That's the way we juice. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Um, what is it? They're... Um, it's like the pulp, but... There's a word. There's a word, there's so a word. help us out, Internet. What's the word? There, so, like, in oranges and citrus fruits and stuff, there's, like, the little... It's like mussels, but it's fruit flesh. <laughs> I can't... There's a whole meme string of, like, people who can't think of the word for something, so they have to describe what it is using other words, and yes. that oftentimes sounds better than what the actual word is supposed to fruit be. Fruit flesh is pretty good. Fruit flesh. Fibers? Yeah, I guess that's closer. Hi, Filament uh, Buster. Welcome back. It's not quite fibers. It's, fibers are a little stringier than... I don't know. I don't know. I know I know it, and I'm going to hate myself like I wanna when say, I figure it out. I want to say pustules, but that's pustules. not right. I think those are the things that show up in your face. I, well, I believe they those are. Those yes. are exactly yeah. those things. Yeah. But they, they burst with juice. <laughs> with juice. <laughs> <laughs> Are you appetized on this cooking show yet? <laughs> this, this is the quality content. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Vascular bundles. Fuck yeah. I don't know that sounds that's science better. <laughs> I don't, don't know if that's better. I don't know if that's better than pustules. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Probably. Most things are better than pustules, to be fair. Yeah. Okay, so I, I like the, uh, the pumpkin seed oil and neutral oil blend that we did on the seeds last time. Uh -huh. So I think I'm going to keep that up on these as well. Good. God, those are going to be so good. I'm hella excited. Doing a heck of an excited. Hella. Whoop. Wait. I have to get the seeds before he does. Yeah. <laughs> he heard it. It's like <laughs> he heard the sound of things scattering to the ground and he is just summoned. <laughs> I, I cast Summon Doggo. 
All it is is just throwing something on the floor. Yep. Yeah. Eh, give me! The seeds are so slippery now that they have oil on them. There we go. Okay. Woo! Crisis averted. Pulp is not wrong, Sir Edwin, but, um... Saradwin. Saradwin? Right. Did I fuck that up again? <laughs> Saradwin, I think is correct. V- vesicles. I think, I think that's right. That is the sign to Tasty Bits, yes. Vesicles. Technically correct, I'm mm. pretty sure. Like, scientifically speaking, pretty sure that's it. Well, I just kicked this lemon in the vesicles. <laughs> the fe- vesicles. <laughs> Testicles, spectacles, watch and wallet. Something like that. So we keep finding more flesh. Get out. Okay. Let's get my hand in here. Yeah. Oh, oily. I think I finally learned how to operate this sink. I haven't burned myself <laughs> in a while. It hasn't turned on to the degree of hell and lava yet. It is completely unreasonable, the temperature at which our sink is capable of getting. Every single time you turned on the sink the last handful of episodes, it was on, like, entirely too fucking high. I was doing that every day. Like, anyway. Also fair. Not just um, when we're on TV. Okay. So. Yeah, seeds. Love seeds. Sweet dreams are made of seeds. Cool. I'm a failure at pronouncing our friend's name. (laughs) Yeah! Got it. That's alright. Sometimes people have usernames that we have no idea how to pronounce correctly, so feel free to correct us and we will do our best to pronounce them right. The, um, I don't know, something about Mary Tyler Moore. Uh, something, something. Buddy Holly. Something, something. Yeah. I look just like Buddy Holly. Oh, oh, and you're Mary Tyler Moore. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I don't know if that's where you were going with it, but that's It was not. That's where my brain happened. You're right, though. That is exactly the tune I was whistling. So, these are the seeds. All oiled up. We did, I did basically like a half and half mix of um, pumpkin seed oil, which I'll actually show you guys up close. Pumpkin seed oil. Oh, excuse me. Ah! Go back! They can see us. We can't see them. Just keep showing it. (laughs) I'm just going to keep holding it up here. No, they they can see it. Okay. So it's like a, um, hang on, I'm going to put a little eep. So it's like a really dark brown color. I'm just going to let it ooze for dramatic effect. It's like a very dark brown, kind of greenish color, actually. Like, almost like soy sauce. Mm -hmm. It's a lot darker than you would think pumpkin seed oil would be. Because, like, they look like normal, you know, seeds. I would think that the oil would be like a neutral color, but dark as fuck. All right, so we're going to check on them squash. Woo! We got some steam. Not smoke, though. That's good. All right, nope, so. Nope, just steam. That is going to be time to flip. Flipping. So. Uh, are we done with this bowl? We are done with that bowl. And actually, since these are only really going in for about maybe 10 to 12 more minutes, uh-huh. we can stick the kale and the, whoop, and the seeds on the bottom row. Okay. Rotate this squash, and okay. yeah, we actually have another pan if we want to try and get the carrots in there too. We just don't have to put it on foil. We can fit everything in the oven. I mean, sure, why not? Fuck it. Yeah, we good. have the pans. We have so many pans. Okay, there, carrots. You can use this oil, oil, salt, pepper. Um, 
I'm gonna get a stop spatula. Throwing things around my kitchen. <laughs> stop throwing things in my kitchen. Olive oil, salt, and pepper. Olive oil, salt, and pepper. Like you do. Yeah, yeah so I can sure. imagine that it would stain things pretty badly. Yeah, pumpkin Henge seed oil keeper. For sure. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that right. Henge keeper. Henge pumpkin keeper. Seed oil, but it stains the shit out of things. Oh, yeah, I can definitely uh, imagine that. Also, I don't recognize Henge keeper, so welcome. Welcome, welcome, new friend. Yeah, these are already getting kind of soft, so I am excited to see the kind of color that these get in the next 10 minutes or so. I've been putting sesame oil on everything lately. Ooh, I like sesame oil. It's so good. And you don't need that much either, because no. it's really fucking potent. Well, you really only use it for the aromatic... Yep. More than anything. It's um, not really a seasoning oil, per se. It is more of an aromatic thing. Yeah, like, I like you just need to get the nice the smell of it. Yeah. The smell. Yeah. <laughs> Turnover. Yeah. Yep. These carrots right now, they're getting the treatment. <laughs> are you giving them the business? Oh, uh, they are getting, they're getting the business, the, uh, the, the recreation, and the, <laughs> <laughs> they're thinking, man, nah, boy, he missed his calling as a massage therapist. <laughs> There's gonna be no tension left in these carrots. No carrot tension. Really, just get in there and work out all the uh, knots. I think that still works, right? I think so. There's knots. It's like a root vegetable. Those have knots, right? I suppose. These are massage therapist jokes. <laughs> Very topical and on theme. You look really good, dude. I'm also fascinated by acorn squash because it's one of the few squashes of this size that you can eat with the skin on. Like, I'm pretty sure you can't eat spaghetti squash skin. I'm extremely glad I got the pronunciation correct. I'm Fantastic. Henge Keeper. See, that's... Oh, Henge Keeper made her meat. Oh. Hey! Oh! What up? Well, hello. Fuck yeah. You oh yeah, that makes the diabetic good ass comment me, more. My friend. I was gonna say that makes the di diabetic comment make more sense. <laughs> huh? Because Henge Keeper was the one that was like, your meat was made by a diabetic. Oh yes. <laughs> well, it's fucking tasty, and we're gonna talk later. I have one of those moments of like shit. every day of my life. It's just. It's just who we are as people. Every day is a new day. Okay, I can't. I'm, I think I'm done. I've been fondling these carrots been, for like ten minutes. Have, have you been massaging them so long? You kind of like it. Oh well, uh, yes. Thank you, uh, LS Gaming, for mentioning with surprise we featured it so soon. Right. Oh yeah, we start every stream with whatever the booze of the night is going to be, mm -hmm. and we uh, only had enough to have like a shot glass to taste on the show, so we figured that Which, we would give a shout out. We while had we did that. more. We, we did have, have more. more. I don't we, know where it's not it went. because we didn't get a lot. I don't know who drank it, but <laughs> it so was enjoyed. At least there was enough left for us to show it. Um, but yeah, thank you again for yes. that. It was really, really good. I would, I would, I would pay like money for that. I think. Yeah. Probably. Absolutely. Yeah. I, ha I have paid money. That's how I got the Skyrim mead. It was fucking delicious. Oh right. Yeah. So is this like a is this like one of those things where like we know people who know people and like and they know people and their people know yeah but then there's like this like circle of people that know things yes like you knew this person before this other person that I met met them yes. and knew them that is absolutely correct and there's like this like the like this web uh, my mom calls that the nexus effect the nexus what I don't. Or the Nexus Gene, that's what it's called. Okay. Because it's the, it is the phenomenon of basically it's a small world. I'm so filthy again. You are, you are just so, so filthy. Ah. Alright. Dirty, dirty boy. Okay, so last, while the veggies are going. 
we're gonna do the butter. The butter. 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 And once we do the butter, because the butter has had a chance to soften. Uh huh. That's good. Yeah. It's nice and soft. Yeah, you, never, you don't want a hard butter. Nah, you can't mix hard butter. It's just gross. unmixable. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> um. So, with the butter, we're gonna mix in the garlic, the lemon, probably some seasonings, and then we're actually going to roll it up in some plastic wrap and make a log, and then put it in the fridge to set, so we can cut it into like a coins. log of butter. Mm-hmm. Wasn't like it roll? already a log of butter? It was. We're making a smaller, more complicated log. Oh. <laughs> um. So we are butter lumberjacks tonight, folks. Ahoy and junk. Boy, you were in for a treat. Can I get a fork? Maybe. Preferably one of mine because I need more tongs. If you ask nicely. Fork you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I will take a pun in place of politeness. No, that was... I don't know what the answer was, but that was it. I don't know what answer I had in my mind. But that, that was the answer. Perfect. Okay. Softened butter. I need the oregano in the bowl, which is over there to the right of the stove. Oregano. Uh, to the right of the stove what? next to the oils. The oregano in the glass. Oh, the oregano. The oregano. God, why don't you pronounce it right? Say it right. Yeah. All right, oregano, half the garlic, a little bit of lemon juice, lemon zest. Batch is working, butter. bottles to claim. All right, well, we would like to claim some Shit, bottles, yes. I think. What is the, uh, what's the current batch that's going? Yeah. That's what got. I want to know. Seven degrees mm -hmm. to Larry? Okay. <laughs> yeah, he knows my mom. That's how I know him. Oh. Which is how I know a lot of people, apparently. Well, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to put in, because we need some for garnish. So we're just going to set aside like a pinch or two for garnish. So they said teaspoon lemon juice, half a teaspoon lemon zest. I'm going to amp the lemon zest a little bit, but I am going to keep this. Oh. <laughs> that was about to be real bad. I'm gonna take like a big old pinch. That's definitely more than half a teaspoon, but I don't care. Big old pinch. Big old pinch. And I'm gonna mix this in and then I'm gonna add like garlic and the, all the other stuff. I have never in my entire life gone, oh no, that was too much zest. <laughs> too zest, entirely too fucking zesty. God, no. How dare you have zest? Throw it away so and zest. start over. <laughs> half the garlic. That's cute. <laughs> I mean, what is the other half for? As desired. Well, we, uh, so we'll start with half. I mean, that is a lot of garlic. That is true. I was actually going to use the rest of this garlic with the small bowl of butter that I set aside uh, to base the chicken. Oh, yeah. I was wondering why there was another mm -hmm. smaller itty bitty bowl. Of I, butter. Set, I set aside a little bit of butter so that I can butter base the chicken when we cook it in the pan. Mm -hmm. And I figure that's a good time to add some of uh, whatever garlic is left. Mm -hmm. Use up our ingredients. Mm. Um, while I'm finishing up this, can you grab the saran wrap? Just like a sheet. Yeah. So we're going to roll it up, flatten it, roll it up into a log. Pinch of pepper. Paste and add remaining garlic and zest if desired. So... I'm going to make the pepper grain a little smaller for this one. How do you do that? There's a twisty thing on the bottom. What? <laughs> really? Aw. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's not, it's not like it's my pepper shaker <laughs> grinder or yes. anything. Most pepper grinders, so this will be a good teach, teachable moment. So if pepper grinders, sometimes they are up top. Most of the times they are on the bottom. I'm holding the top. Underneath, this little black thing twists one direction for coarse and the other direction for fine. Sounds so you can control how coarse your pepper is. I usually like to use coarser grinds of salt and pepper for things like searing steaks and finer grinds for mixing into things like sauces or spreads so you don't have like a giant chunk of peppercorn in a, a bite of whatever. Right. No, that makes sense. That's completely logical. I have 
Saran Wrap for you. I like this Saran Wrap because it came with a little slide cutter right built into the box. And that's just quality, if you ask me. I'm trying to get it to not cling to myself. That's perfect. It's is that like, just giant brands? That like not, that's not even a fancy. It's, uh, the generic giant brand cut and wrap. <laughs> cut and wrap. What a name. Cut and cut and wrap. Premium plastic wrap. Cut I with like a little it. slide cutter. I like the slide cutter because there's nothing great. more obnoxious. Because like aluminum foil has some like um, oomph to it. It's oh. like it it tears easily. Yeah. Um, I need a spatula, preferably so, a small one. So, small spatula. A spatula? A spatula. Which one? This one? Uh, one of the smaller ones. A little one. Yeah. Okay, a little spatula. It's for the butter. Mm. Uh, left. This? this? The, the dark blue one. No. Your, your pastry spatula. Oh, that thing. Yee. Oh, God. Jesus, Lord. Uh, or that one, but that one's on the floor. Well, now this one's on the floor. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? I don't know. I don't remember. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> what were we saying? <laughs> quick, quick internet. Remember what we were talking about. Something about butter. Oh, the, oh, aluminum foil. How easy it tears. Mm. Aha! I did it. Um, yeah, it tears really easily because of the integrity of the sheet of aluminum foil as aluminum foil is naturally stronger. Plastic wrap is like clingy and flimsy, and like if you don't get it exactly right, yeah, it just like tears a whole big fucking mess in your life. Have you ever noticed how on all aluminum foil packaging, the cutter you pull it out and you pull down, mm -hmm. and the cutter is on the strong side of the box? Yes. Have I you have. ever noticed that on all saran wrap, it's the cutter not. is on the lid, which is the weak yes. side of the box? Have you ever it noticed that? It kind of comes top down instead yeah. of sticks instead on of the... Sticks up. Why is that? That is because the aluminum foil people, <laughs> when saran wrap became Wait, a thing... Wait, where's my red this string? Is a true fucking where's story. my string? When the saran wrap became a thing, aluminum foil was like pissed about it. <laughs> And they were like, they, they patented the the cutter on the box thing so that Saran Wrap couldn't use it. Wow. Yeah, so they literally couldn't... Cornered the fucking cur market. Yeah, they, 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 they patented it so that they, they, you had to use a far more inferior cutter, which, which is, it's really obnoxious when you try to tear the, the wrap, mm -hmm. you know? That is absolutely, that was just like a corporate fuckery. That was a marketing scheme. Corporate fuckery is what that was. Corporate fuckery. Yeah, which All is right. why I especially like this box. So what, what I'm doing, I realized I was doing a lot of things and not explaining them. Um, so I'm basically using my hands to mush this butter in first into a ball to just kind of compress everything so there's not a lot of air pockets in it. And then I'm just folding the saran wrap on itself and just kind of using my hands to squish it into something that kind of resembles a log form. Sure, log. Yeah. That's what we're going with. Log. Definitely not butter, turd. Butter turd. It's definitely not a turd. It's definitely a butter turd. Uh, so. It actually looks really damn good. <laughs> Compound butters. I actually used to make my own butter from scratch a while back. You weirdo. <laughs> from uh, heavy whipping cream. Uh -huh. And I would like, I went through a lot of different methods, but my favorite one was like a garlic and herb butter. Okay. And it was, it, they turned out really, really well. Um, I actually sold them to a couple people I used to work with back in the day. I would make like, I had like stick molds. Pretty sure I still have the, uh, the silicone molds for those. But I had the stick molds and I would just like whip up butter and put shit in them. I made like honey butter. I think I made one that was like a lemon dill for like fish. I, I was super into it. It sounds good. Yeah. So basically, I'm just rolling this through, and I'm trying to get it even. What's your hobby? Butter. Butter. What? There's a, there's a movie about that. Of course there With, is. With, uh, I want to say Julia Roberts or Hilary Swank, one of those two. That's like How quite... How can you tell them apart? That's a great question. Um, that is quite literally about a whole town 
that it like there it's like a butter factory or a butter mill or some milk dairy something they have like a butter carving competition that's like the whole thing so i'm doing the the ever popular twisty twisty literally all i've done is i've taken the uh there's some kind of magic going on <laughs> over here. i took the saran wrap folded it in half and i pulled the uh i pulled the turd to the end and then i rolled it over itself and then I just took the ends and literally all I'm doing is this motion. Like I'm not twisting my fingers or anything. I'm trying to keep my fingers as close to, it's kind of like I'm trying to make a sausage. I'm like pushing it in as far as I can and then just twisting it over on itself and it's twisting the ends of it so it pushes it closer together and it makes it more like a log. It's like a giant butter Tootsie Roll. Exactly. Let me see you Tootsie Roll. To left, to left. Three hops this time. Wait, what? <laughs> All right, so I'm sticking this in the fridge for the remainder of this, and then hopefully by the time we're done, it will be cold, solid, and delicious. Okay. In the meantime, I think I may add the rest of the zest in with the garlic and put that in with the butter, too. In the fridge? No, for the chicken. This butter. Yes, this butter. Uh, so yeah, like that the like rest great. of the zest, the rest yeah. of the garlic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That sounds like a great, great idea. Yeah. I really like <laughs> this zesty butter. Where's the avocado? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> what on earth? What is oh that? God, yes. Is that Thank cat? you, Ice Falcon. <laughs> That's the, that's the oh my god face. Um, like, ooh. Exactly. Ice Falcon, um, um, he, what is, shit, what was it? Hedge, Henge Keeper? Hen, yeah. Hen, Henge Keeper is on, and we have, where's the bottle? We have a, I know you'll recognize this bottle. We have some, some official Josh Hagen mead on this stream for today. Yeah. He made the Skyrim mead that we had way back when, and it was a baseballs. balls. Yes. Yes. It's so good. It's, it's gone now, strengths. but yes, he's he's in here as well. Okay, so I built. Oh. Apparently, we have mutual friends. See, <laughs> apparently, we know people. Tinder date also knew these people. I was trying Who to explain knew. the whole Nexus gene thing, and I very, think I confused him. Very weird. There he is. Hey, buddy. <laughs> okay. So, where does the honey go? Where does the honey go? Oh, we were supposed to put it on the squash. That's fine. I may put it on the chicken. Isn't that what we were planning on doing? It is now. You literally just said <laughs> that like five seconds ago. I was going to put the, the garlic and the zest and the butter on the chicken. Isn't that what you just said? Yes, I'm talking about the honey. Oh. Which was originally supposed to go on the acorn squash. However, we oiled and seasoned the acorn squash, so we don't necessarily need the honey. Oh. So we can put the honey on the chicken and make it kind of glazy a little. Mm. So I'm going to take these over to Chuja Sturf. And we're going to check on our veg and our seeds. So I'm starting to back away. There we go. Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> Fuck yeah. No, it's good. spooky in here. Okay. Okay. Spooky. Ah. Pop. Spooky, spooky. Pop goes the seedlings. Spooky. Potato. Spam that potato emote. <laughs> dance potato. You can't. Dance pa potato dance. <laughs> He's very unhappy about yeah. this. He's so okay. He's, he's so unhappy. He's making these awful noises. Okay, I think. Good lord, can... we put a dog on the screen for like five seconds. Our viewer count like doubled. Yay! <laughs> People want to see the potato. All right, so our acorn it. squash is definitely done. So this is what it looks like when it come out. Woo! It's all golden brown now and junk. Huh. It looks good. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, so. Dot these dots. Yeah. I'm just going to put them right on top. These stick right there. I'm going to move these down the peg so they don't burn because they are very close to the uh, heat source. Hey. 
is hot. He's very excited now. He doesn't know why. He's like, I don't know what just happened, but it was exciting. So we're going to use the last can for the kale. I kind of didn't like it, but you were also touching me, and I'm really a fan of that, so... I did. I guess I'll put up with it. There was touching involved, and I'm a fan of that, however. (laughs) This dog is an all-star cuddler. All-star. He really is. What are you doing? I am putting the kale in the oven now, because Uh. we don't have that much longer. I flipped and shook the... uh, seeds. Uh-huh. So I am also going to turn this down. Aren't we supposed to flip the squash at some point? I did that already. Oh, you did that. Mm-hmm. So Where I'm was I? Uh, probably right there. Right <laughs> This is almost empty. That is true. I need a refill. Mm. I just realized I haven't had anything to drink at all. What on earth? This is what how, happens when I don't pay attention. How dare you How dare I? operate a stove sober. <laughs> Operate my own stove, sober. All right. All right. So next. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> next up, I think we are done with prepping everything. All we need is to take out the carrots and the kale and the seeds when they're done. Okay. I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes, and we will check everything. No, five. Five, five, minutes, five minutes to midnight. <laughs> we'll do six minutes. Six minutes, Debbie Fresh, you're wrong. All right. What? Huh? Debbie Fresh. Who? My name is. Eh? Eh? <laughs> huh? Okay, I will need salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. On these here chicks. Oh, oh, I was bringing the chicken to you. You're bringing chicken to you? Yes. Oh, we're preparing the chicks now. Yes, we're just doing salt and pepper. We don't need oil because they're right. going to go into a pan with oil. Right. <laughs> Uh, Oliver is usually very confused when he comes on stream. He just likes the attention. Yes, we were talking about you. Just now. I didn't know it was costume day. It wasn't. I just made a split second decision because I didn't get to wear it for the Halloween stream. Now I'm stream. sad I didn't get to wear my costume. You can wear it next time. We don't need a Halloween excuse to wear a costume. That's true. We could just do it. We are going to be in costume, though, for the next two weeks. That is true. For our, uh, the our rest and run fair. <laughs> the rest and run TM. fair. <laughs> TM. Watch it become, like, actually a thing. Someday. I mean, we got like that 30 people our, coming to the house. That would be our luck. Because they all want to try their uh, medal at becoming a champion. Absolutely. Because who doesn't want to be a champion? Weirdos. We are the weirdos, mister. We are. But we're like the good weirdos. You know, there's like weirdos and then there's weirdos. <laughs> there's... Weirdos and weirdos. Right? This is fucking weird. <laughs> fucking weird. These fucking guys. Fucking weirdos. <laughs> Alright. Massage that breast. Now, see, I hold that weird can be a compliment. Absolutely. Um, however, strange is very rarely a compliment. Mm, that is know? true. Weird or interesting can be compliment. Right. Strange is usually not used as a compliment. No, because there's strangers. Mm. And strangers is Stranger always... Dangers. It is heck and flaking. Strange. You're just like absentmindedly stro- stroking the chicken out. I've done this so many times. <laughs> Take them from you. They're done. Okay. <laughs> so, we have seasoned our uh, uh, breasts uh, seasoned. Now we go to Stone Camp. Stone Camp! Stone Camp! This is always the most exciting part because we never know what the camera angle is going to look like because we have to manually move the camera. Shit, yeah, first try. Pretty all right. There it is. Shit, yes. Okay, I am going to turn the fan on though because we're starting to get some. What is quirky? Woo! Oh, Oosh. quirky sucks. You don't. You don't like being quirky. Where did? Nope. You don't like being quirky. No. Nope. How about fun? 
I oh. hate fun. I ah. hate. I hate fun. I don't hate fun like a <laughs> noun. I don't like being I like, called fun. I like the idea that like yeah. I, I like how like all the women in the room immediately <laughs> went to being called fun. Hiss. Boo hiss boo. All right, I'm gonna bring this I've down. definitely called women fun. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> or at least ask first, I suppose. All right, so we have our uh, acorn squash seeds. They are nicely browned, but not burnt. Some of them are a little darker than others, but that's okay. I'm gonna set this here, don't touch the pan, but definitely sprinkle some salt on the dishes. Wait, how does fun mean crazy? Fun, fun means crazy or like, I don't know, it always has this like. Fun equals run. <laughs> yes, thank you, Karyotic. Thank you. All right, so we are gonna break out. Wow, they like shrink. Hmm, yeah, they, no, these are the size that they are. They did, they haven't shrunk in size at all. Mm. They're just, I guess because the acorn squash is already a smaller squash, the seeds are also smaller, at least compared to the uh, spaghetti squash and the Pumpkin. I don't know. I thought they were larger before. No. You'd think it a man as as a man, <laughs> I'd be better at estimating size. You would, wouldn't you? Mm. All right. So I'm putting the pine nuts in, which are also a thing, and I'm going to dry toast them with like a little bit of oil, and then we'll set these aside as well. These are for garnish. Yeah, it means like, like it's it's a southern compliment. What is? You're fun. It's like someone saying, oh, bless your heart. Or like, oh, you're so sweet. Or you poor dear. It's like, oh, you're fun. It's also kind of a low key way of calling someone stupid. Like, oh, you're fun. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man. Yeah. I fucking, <laughs> I have called a lot of girls stupid. The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. But. All right, I do not, I have never, I, I have definitely, I d well, okay. Did you salt these? Hang on. Wait, maybe I'm not... Oh, I'm supposed to be salting Yes, yeah, salting. Sorry, I'm really <laughs> caught up in this whole fun thing. Um, I'm... There's, right. Okay, okay, wait, wait. So, I... I don't think I've ever called anyone fun. I said I'm having fun. Right, that's different. I... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I have. I, I'm trying to think. Like... The, uh, yeah, the, um, if you say, well, that was fun, that's different. That is describing an action, a thing that happened that was entertaining. I have fun when I am I with you. I had fun, yes. But saying you are fun as an adjective to describe a person, not okay. Man. The more you know. The dating world's a minefield. Yes, fun can also mean slutty, which is why I don't like it. Even though what? I don't take slutty as an insult, These it's guys. usually said by people that I don't want to be called slutty by. Right, see, that's <laughs> fucking... Dudes ruin everything for other dudes and Seriously. everyone else. Seriously. I am sure that I have said that at, at some point or another. In your life. I have definitely called some woman fun. <laughs> but I have never meant it in the ways that apparently the consensus of women social in, justice in... chef <laughs> talking about that serious shit I don't know if this is serious but Eat, it's go run away kale it's certainly enlightening <laughs> oh show your place Couple more minutes. Three more minutes. Like I like people who are fun. Sure. I make a point to hang out with people who I find entertaining and interesting, and that's fun. You know. And that's fine. I don't understand. How does it become slutty? It is. It is not about how you intend. It is how other people have used it in the past, and then that's. Yeah, no, I get how that. People use it in the future. I get that. I totally get that. I'm. Uh, what I'm asking is like, how? Yes, Ender Dragon. I too would like to hang out with sluts. I mean, who doesn't? But also, I don't know. Just don't understand. I'm gonna put a little 
little oil in here. Like I believe you, but sure. Having no you perspective. You say that like Brad says it. I believe I, you. I probably pulled that right from Brad. Probably. <laughs> probably. Um. Yeah, that guy has like some of the most infectious like speech patterns of any person I've ever met in my life. Right. <laughs> I, I I I started hanging out with him for like five minutes, and suddenly I'm talking like him. <laughs> As long as you're not channeling Jim the Magnificent, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, like, I believe... Yes, precisely. I believe that this is totally a thing. The thing is that I have never personally yeah, yeah. seen it that way. I have yeah. never thought about it that way. And it's certainly not the way that I've ever meant it if I've ever said it, which I certainly have. Sure. Right? So this is like one of those pitfalls where, like, I'm saying shit and... Maybe and you don't realize the meaning has been... Fucking tainted. Right. Right? Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out how... How does that get translated? Because it doesn't translate in my head. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's more frustrating to try and figure out how it became the way it is now than adapting. Because sometimes the way it became a thing is indiscernible or it doesn't make any sense logically it just happens like yeet <laughs> how the fuck does yeet mean to throw something oh. i have no fucking idea i just that's literally the definition is to throw something that's to what yeet, yeet means. a thing it is right it is used as just a statement but it is meant to yeet something as a verb right and i'm like i don't understand etymologically how the fuck that works yep is that the first thing that comes out of it? Right. <laughs> but, like, I just accept that that is what it is. Violent motion. With, specifically with a violent motion. Okay, to violently so... violently throw something. Okay, so you're, you're right, Devstep, that I, I did kind of know because I have recently caught on. I have heard, I've been hearing that this is a thing. And I, I wanted to uh, discuss it further because... It's not We're something on the internet. I Where else do you discuss those things? Um, well, we are not <laughs> physically on the internet. I could have a conversation with you as a human being because we are right here. And yes. my words can't get really, really misunderstood because text right. text is my enemy. <laughs> you cannot, you can't, I don't know. Somebody told me that I need to start using a lot more emojis. So we have kale, whoop, down here, there we go. So it's, hang on, let me get it closer to the microphone. I don't know if you guys can hear the crispiness. It's crispy though. It's hecking crisp. Woo hoo! Okay, so, aw, oh, you made a heart, it's so cute. I did, I did. <laughs> you gotta you show You made a heart everybody. with the sleeve. Show everybody. I will. I've actually been doing things while I, will, I was I trade you. talking about not understanding basic concepts. Hold it, hold it under the... See, they made a heart with, with the sleeve. There you go. This is because we love you all, everybody. Mwah. You're so special to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's not a fucking metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, if you want to actually put the seeds on here, or actually, oh, Jesus. Because <laughs> love is also scary. <laughs> um, I am going to put these both on the same plate so that we can put one of these cans away somewhere. Okay. How about in the sink? Yes, preferably in the sink. What are we doing with the kale? Um, we are eating it as oh. a side. <laughs> hey, does it? <laughs> Careful. The seeds are good. Yeah? Yeah. Don't, um, breathe them. <laughs> Inadvisable. Nope. All good. Okay. All right. So, mm. as cow. we've been talking, I have been roasting, toasting these pine nuts. Same way I did the seeds. Mm. Except in a pan. That is delicious. Mm. So you can see that they've got like some dark brown, some light brown, some tan. These are sufficiently toasted. It was just oil and like medium to medium high heat. 
I like them with a lot of color because that really brings out the flavor, but I don't want them to be like black because then that means they burn. Nah, there's no point. Ooh, yay, bits! The bits, the bits. Yeah, these are way better than the pumpkin seeds. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Squash. Yeah. Squish mm. seeds. Mm -hmm. The squishin'. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, and actually it occurs to me too that these spaghetti squash seeds were also, I think, a little better than the pumpkin seeds. Yeah, because they're meant to be I think it's really, yeah. I think that's really where it lies. are not meant for consumption. So these are our pine nuts. You can see there are some that are kind of dark, some that are kind of light. It kind of breaks it up a little bit. We'll use these as a garnish towards the end. Oliver, excuse me. Along with the oregano, so we'll set those aside. Now, we are on to chicken. 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 So the pan already has a little bit of oil in it, but most of it got absorbed by the nuts. Hit, hit. I'm gonna put some more oil in here. And I'm gonna put this at like out of nine, which looks like to be the highest number on our stove here. I'm gonna put it at like a six-ish. So ha halfway between medium and medium high. And then I'm gonna test it by doing what I call the dip test, which is where I basically just dip the meat into the oil to see if I hear it uh, sputter. Just like that. Yeah. That's the sound I want. Sputter, sputter. Sputter, bitch. Hell <laughs> <laughs> on. Yo. This took two, <laughs> two hours again. Fuck yeah. <laughs> well, fortunately, this will not take three. No. Because the chicken is the last thing we need to do. I know, there right? Are. I'm eating the shit out of these seeds. <laughs> well, the seeds are our chef snack. The kale is for the uh, the food. But... Oh, yeah. So here's how the carrots turned out. You can see they're like a little wrinkly looking. That's like some of the oil and stuff that's and the moisture. Mm -hmm. But they're dried out and roasted, so they've got some nice color on them. And they lift right off the pan. Because it is, oh. Uh-oh. How's the, Merrick? Something's gone. Turner! I don't know if the stream is still going or not. Yeah. Just keep going in. I know, I'm still I going. Take a look. Yeah. Still going? It's still going. All right, beautiful. All right, I am just putting all of the sides kind of in one pan, even though we cook them in separate pans. Our, our, our monitor just crashed again. Oh, gotcha. God. Yep. What idiot set this crap up? <laughs> Ow! What happened? The oil leaped out of the oh. pan. <laughs> Did you get sprayed? I'm like... Several feet away from that pad. <laughs> Ow! That was unkind, pad. How dare you, pad? You better get some of these seeds. <laughs> They're gonna ache the fuck up. We're gonna have to save some for a mug. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Where's my fork? Mm. Where did the fork go? What fork? fork? Oh, I put that. Mix the butter. I put that fork away already. Oh, I need that fork back. I don't know where it is. Well, then I need a new You're fork. You're gonna have a new fork. <laughs> That's spoon. That's a spoon. I know the difference between fork and spoon. <laughs> Thank you very much. Spoon man, come together with your. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. I'm okay. I'm fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. Everything is okay. Where are all the little buckets? The what? Little cup thingies. Did we use them all? That one's got honey in it. I mean it does now. Alright, hang on. So what I'm doing is I poured the honey and the rest of the lemon zest and the rest of the garlic in one of the containers. And I'm just going to like mix it together into this like basting paste. <laughs> basting paste. So I'm going to 
basically put the butter and this in with the chicken once I flipped it over. And I'm gonna base it like you do with butter or like herb butter with a steak. I'm gonna do that with this and the chicken. They give it like a, a crusty crust. And so for this chicken so far, just to give you guys an, whoop, an idea, um, can I get tongs? The, lar tongs. the long tongs. I got a long tongue for you. Ah! Tongue, 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 tongue. But apparently I can't reliably measure the size of them. No. Unlikely. No. Estimate the size. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright. So I'm just going to rotate it. So the way that I cook chicken in a pan like this is I start off on one side. Usually start off with medium and then crank the heat to like medium high. And I cook until this white part here is about halfway up the chicken. And then I flip it, I sear it, and then I put a little bit of water in the pan and I cover it and I steam it. Once the chicken's actually cooked through, then I'll baste it. Because I want, I'm more concerned about the chicken cooking all the way through. Meats like steak, because they're able to be safely eaten at different temperatures. Yeah. You can undercook it a little and it's still safe to eat, even if it isn't really like to your liking. Chicken, yeah. there is no temperature of chicken. It is cooked or it is not cooked. You're There's no such thing as medium rare chicken. Uh, that's <laughs> not a thing. That's the only way I like my chicken. <laughs> that's called uh, salmonella, is what that's called. Yeah, salmon chicken. Right. <laughs> that's how I like it. Right, sure. So I'm more concerned about this being cooked all the way through than I am about it having a lot of color. <laughs> Frying pans. Who knew, right? <laughs> Fruit seller 24. Hi, and welcome back. Good to see you again. Exactly. I actually learned that um, back in college. Uh, I was dating somebody who was really, really good at making chicken breasts. I was not. And he told me that he seared it on both sides just like a steak. And then instead of like with a steak, you sometimes put it in the oven to cook it through. He steamed it on the stove top. And I was just like, I still chose to how you do this. Tell me your secrets. So you can see already, this chicken's got like a little bit of a orangey, brownish kind of color to it. That's the first steps of what I'm looking at on all of these. That's what I want. This one's got a little bit, but it needs a little more. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap these out because where you have your meats or your food in general on the pan in relation to where the coil is. So like if you have stuff out to the side of your pan, it's usually going to be a little uh, less hot as opposed to having it like dead center in the middle where the heating element is the strongest. So if you notice things starting to cook a little uneven unevenly, you can switch it around in the position on the pan. So this one's got like really good color on this side. So I'm actually going to go ahead and slap that back down. And like this one, for example, you can see that the white is starting to creep up at least halfway through. Like meow. So it's like mostly white. I'm gonna flip it now. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want that golden gorgeous. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get away from it. So I like that like golden and you can like drag the I can drag this across the skin and it feels like kind of scrapey a little bit. Not like mushy. I'm about it. <laughs> so I'm gonna sear this, and then once I get a good color on the other side, then I will steam it for like two, three minutes or so, and then I'm gonna baste it, and the hot butter is also gonna help cook it a little bit. And that's also why we let meat rest, because it continues cooking after it's already off the heat. So you wanna give it a good five minutes or so to rest before you like cut into it. Otherwise, the uh, muscle fibers. You know, it's, it's had a hard day at the it's, office. It just they, needs to um, relax. Just <laughs> let me just get in the house and pick off my shoes, have a beer. Right. Watch my stories. Watch my watch my shows. 
Exactly. The you muscle just, fibers have to relax right? and then reabsorb all the moisture. I'm fairly certain that I'm far more delicious after that I have had a nice, relaxing beer and sit down. I agree. Cheers. <laughs> I feel like that was very three musketeers -y, except it was just two musketeers. Huh? There we go. <laughs> All for what one type of and one top? for chicken. One for chicken. Flipsidious, this is an induction cooktop. Oh, okay. It looks purple, but it's actually it. red. I'm not yeah, going to do that. Terrifying. I will tell you if I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm not going to do that with a chicken. I didn't think so. <laughs> Flipsidious. Flipsidious, this is an uh, induction cooktop. Um, seasoning for this is super simple, just a... Uh, Mediterranean blend oil, which is like, a, I think it's grapeseed oil, canola oil, and olive oil. It's from Costco, and it's amaze balls. Um, and salt and pepper. That's it. Nothing fancy. However, I do have a fancy, like, glaze basting, based paste. <laughs> glaze based paste. A glazing base paste. So this is the remaining yeah. lemon zest garlic and uh, from when we were doing oh, the uh, compound butter. <laughs> oh, it smells great. <laughs> I want to make a scrub out of this, but I don't know if I want to rub garlic on my body in yes. case I find out I have a cut. No, there's <laughs> lemon and garlic in there. That could end really badly. No, it's but yeah, bad. so basically I'm going to put this in with the chicken in a minute once it's done steaming, and I'm going to have some of the other butter, and I'm going to base it like a steak. You're like some kind of flavor demon. I'm going to take you to Flavor Town. Like, I don't know. Like flavored even. I think it's called worse. <laughs> like fun. Right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, brought so that back around. So here, so we've brought got kind around. of the same color. It's not darker or lighter really than any of these others. So I know I've got even sear on both sides. Whoop. This one keeps trying to like escape me. This one, because this is a bigger one than the other ones, I know I'm going to steam a little longer. So you've got the same color on both sides. Good. Okay. So, now, I need a lid. I guess you... Perfect. Yeah, as long as it covers the chicken, that's fine. Bam. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually taking the remaining lemon juice and I've cut it with a little bit of just like tap water from the kitchen sink and I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to pour it down the side so it doesn't splatter on me. I poured like most of it in there. That's amazing. This is wild. And you can see it starting to steam and bubble and shit. And I'm just leaving it pop like on one little side because I do want some of this to evaporate. That's really cool. But not all of it. And now we bake. <laughs> I don't even like meat. And this is fun to watch. <laughs> like I think, I like even if meat. even oh, if I, I didn't, never. Correct. Correct, Amanda. We've had this conversation so many times. <laughs> yeah, but I was a vegetarian for a couple of years too. You know. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> whatever you say, everybody goes through that phase. <laughs> I mean, I assume. No. Most people didn't have my experience, though, I guess. I was a vegetarian until we ran out of food, and then I had to eat a camel. That's fair. How, so, do, you, how do you maintain terrifying. being a vegetarian out there? Like, what? what? What did you eat, if not meat? Mostly peanut butter. Yeah. Mostly peanut butter? Crunchy lots or, and lots crunchy or creamy? Always crunchy. Ah, I didn't have a yeah. choice, though. It was always creamy. Oh, no. <laughs> Imagine, you prefer crunchy, but you imagine have to eat peanut crunchy. butter, but in a giant ketchup packet. That's what I. It's like have Skippy done. tubes, like a yeah. gogurt, but peanut butter. Oh, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. gogurt and peanut butter. It's it's a, a, is, I don't like anything that you just said. That is in that order, was bad. That is what I Thank you, LS Gaming. No. <laughs> yep. Yep. And then we ran out of food. That smells so good. That's repulsive, but peanut butter is too. Oh my God, karyotic! I How work, the fuck do you not like peanut butter? I work with a girl who sits right across the the like aisle from me who also hates peanut butter. She's stupid. What the hell? Like vehemently 
hate like hates peanut butter she like you hate parsley. Wow. She I bet you she has been called fun at least <laughs> once in her life. She sounds fun. Shit, yeah. Wait, wait, what kind of jelly? Okay, I would Are you a grape or a or strawberry girl? Any, kind of any day. Do what? I would if I had a choice between peanut butter and jelly, it'd be peanut butter any day. Peanut butter all day, every day. Okay, so you're a grape girl. I'm a strawberry preserves kind of girl because I like the fruit. Mm -hmm. I don't want just the paste. Mm -hmm. But I actually, um, when I was a kid, like my that. mom made like me it. peanut butter and mint jelly sandwiches. It's freaking weird. Sounds weird as fuck. It is tasty. And I put a, I put my uh, like like flaky it. salt on the peanut butter uh -oh. so in the sandwich, so it gives it a little bit of... Stupid bitch. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I make it hella bougie. That sounds real good. I make it hella fucking bougie. Hello, fucking boo. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off and kind of check the temperature and see where we're at. Because as long as we have a top on it, the liquid will basically evaporate and then recycle its way back down. So what I'm doing is I'm checking underneath. So we did chicken a while back and I was talking to you guys about how um, for a full size breast like this where they don't take out the tenderloin, I, you kind of have to check inside the folds and see how pink it is to see like how it's cooking. And this like, it looks pretty good. It looks a little juicy, like deep in there. So I'm going to let this go for a little bit longer, but these other ones might be close to done because they're a little bit smaller. Yeah, Hench Keeper, that sounds amazing. Peanut butter and jalapeno jam. That sounds really interesting. I've I had like red it. pepper jam and it's good. Yeah. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have a pepper jam or something that with goat cheese. Um, that crackers. OBX Pirate made for us. Oh. As well, that is that is in the fridge, in fact. Yeah. So like, if you lift up this, I know it's really hard to see on camera, guys, but if you lift up this tenderloin here, it's like all white. There's no like translucent pink meat in there. So that's how I know that it's like actually cooked through properly. No, you do not want pink meat. Nobody wants pink meat. Not in chicken. Nope. <laughs> At least not translucent pink. Like I the... really, I really think that uh, that whole um, like medium rare chicken thing. I am pretty sure was it was a troll. Spread pretty sure it was a troll. As a way to just call the idiots. <laughs> 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 just hope, hope they try it and then just die of salmonella. Yeah. Well, look. I, I don't support it. I don't think it's a good thing. I just think it's something that somebody did. Very probably. Is that like, like the hack on how to like cut a bagel? <laughs> I remember that. Stick your finger through the hole and then it doesn't then, move. Then, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Shit like that. Exactly. Yeah. You gotta pour water outside before it snows, and that way it'll be easier to scoop <laughs> out all the snow them. away. Yes. <laughs> life hacks. Right. Yeah. Fucking life hacks for actual life. Lives. Life hacks. All right. So I'm Wait, just letting all this burn off. Isn't now. there another tray of these? They're right there. Oh, it's, it's under underneath. Oh, yeah. Okay. Keep them still these are really, these are really like if you want to touch these, these are really soft. They're like really crispy on the edges where the skin is. I just take it. I mean, you can. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'll twist my arm. Oh, I'm looking at you. No, I'm fucking <laughs> Can I eat the skin? You can. Wow. It is encouraged. You should. But... No, it's not on that face. <laughs> so I'm just trying to let this we'll all evaporate. One for our sound guy. It's freaking amazing. You know what? I never cooked my fuck like that. Yeah, I have been. I'm really big into roasting like hearty veggies, like veggies that. Can, I like it with everything else. Veggies but... that can take it. Yeah. <laughs> Squashes. Squash. Yeah. <laughs> take that roast. <laughs> Salty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting my lady salt and put some of that on it. So, it. Uh, where is my. Oh, yeah, here. You weren't planning yeah. to use these seeds for anything, right? Because they're gone. No, they're chef snacks. <laughs> okay. They're for us. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, cool. so this stuff, in the middle now, I'm letting this evaporate, but this is starting to become a little bit like saucy. 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 So at this point, I'm going to add in my, mm. my base paste. Base, base. <laughs> my basting paste. Butt stuff. No. Butt stuff. Base, base. Just right into the center. Oh, let that mingle. Mix it all in. 
Yeah, it does look really, really good. All right. So now here's where the magic happens. Let's say it smells nutty. No, that's you. So now I'm going to push these all together and kind of pull the sauce at the bottom. Uh -huh. Nice. So, and then I'm going to turn it down to like just above medium because I don't want anything to burn. That's smart. And oh, now the smart. butter! Butter. No butter, no better. So better. There's yet this. still more butter to be used in this recipe. That's right. Oh, yeah, your pat, your yeah the, com the, co the compound butter. That's good. I wanted to die young. <laughs> I mean, you got to die somehow. Might as well be Happy. by eating delicious chicken. <laughs> Look, I was fairly certain that I wasn't going to make it to 27. Can I get a spoon? I'm fast approaching 36. Spoon woman. The spoon, uh, yeah, either spoon would be fine. Perfect. All right. This is my favorite part. I like doing yeah, you the, the tossy thing. The tossy thing. The tossy Yay, thing. tossy thing. Look at you, you're so fancy. Let's shut on fire. <laughs> Flambe that down. chicken. Wait, what? No. <laughs> That's my job. To light shit on fire. On purpose or accidentally? Well, <laughs> either either one. You made it past 27, so. Remains to be seen. <laughs> you know what's really flammable? Toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> you know what else is surprisingly edible? <laughs> toilet paper, paper. Oh. according in the world according to Oliver. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> he treats the toilet paper like it's his own personal fruit by the foot. That's there's disgusting. there's a video that Boy, we took once um, where I I literally I walked into the house and I saw a string of toilet paper going from here like across the room. Oh, no. And I followed it and it was still intact on the roll and went from that door all the way across the entire length of the house down the stairs and out the dog door. <laughs> And it was still one piece. He was going pond. Right, he was taking it with him. Oh, so you guys, you guys buy the good shit. See, he's just, right. 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 So right. We have the one plot. Right. right. No, we we got cushy tushies no. over here. Really? Cushy tushies. Uh, cushy tushies. No, it's he's like, smarter than all of us because he's <laughs> he's he's cutting out the middleman. Right. He wants to wipe his ass as he shits. There right. You go. Right. It's he's all one. It. He's trying to multitask. Right? Fucking. This is a. This is this dog is on the next level. I'm telling you. My kid takes the toilet paper from the roll, stuffs it into the toilet, and then just continues to flush it and just watches it just roll all the way out into the toilet. That is the oh, most pure wow. Calvin and Hobbes thing <laughs> right? I've ever heard in real life. That sounds like a comic. <laughs> he was so proud of himself. I'm so proud. Excited. I'm proud of him. <laughs> Good job, kid. You wasted it. <coughs> literally everything in the house at the same time. Right. Way to be. Yep. Ah, uh, the joys of parenthood. Yeah. Right? Okay. So the chicken is done, which means we are basically done. Basically done. Basically done. All we need to do now is just give this a moment to rest. And then yeah, I need a break. We can God. plate up. See, I'm starting to think like these, these, these chicken breasts are just lazy. Mm. We need so much rest. We need God. so much rest. We gave you rest, all right? We've been resting Get rest when day. you're dead. Fancy oh, right. garlic oh, right. hot tub. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> and your fancy garlic hot tub. I want a garlic tub. hot tub. Dude, I'd be okay with that. Oh. Alright, no so. What I'm going to do. You need to glaze the fuck out of that pan. Yes. You already did that, didn't you? I mean, I did with the uh, the fawn, but basically. Oh. I am, because it's not sticking. It's so pretty. And it's all foamy and shit now. I am going to turn the heat off. Though. You've, like, candied. Because it's like it's rich because of the butter, and then it's got this like candied, sticky. Which is way bubbles. harder to do. Way harder to do. Look than at them bubbles. Yeah, right? Jesus. Um, and I'm just gonna pour this directly over the chicken. Because it's gonna. It's gonna. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Dat glazed dough. Yeah, dat glazed dough. Mm. All them honey sugars. Mm. It's weird to be experiencing <laughs> hunger and thirst at the same time. <laughs> food, food thirst. That's oh, not yeah. my combination. Right? There we go. All right, so we're going to let those rest for a couple of minutes. Rest so easy, be... rests. <laughs> All right. Before, you soon. Can, you can stick that back up. You will be <laughs> at. Sink. I'm gonna roll this back. Oh, we made a fucking mess. Oh. Yeah, this'll be fun. Yeah. So while these are resting. 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 Um, can I get the large white pre presentation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plates? My fancy Your plate. plate. My fancy plate. Fancy plate. Thank you. Scalpel. <laughs> Every time he hits oh, something, God, that's a Debbie. Shit, scalpel. Oh no! Where that's a Debbie. Come from? Oh my God! Where what did happened? you come from? Cheers. <laughs> I had no idea you were here. This is such a surprise. Uh -huh. like, what's oh, yeah, even happening? Surprise. We don't know this person. She just walked into <laughs> our stream. It's weird. How many streams have been in that aren't mine? Blah. This is at least the fourth. <laughs> many? Yeah. yeah. Many? Several? Where? Nuts didn't didn't you ever learn? Don't cross the streams. Nah, me. Except that that's what saved the day at the end. Dun, 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 dun. That is very true. Yeah. So. Okay. So I'm gonna lay out my veg first, and I think I'm gonna just kind of plop. We're almost done, aren't we? Yeah, we're on. A, we're already on a presentation. Yeah, but we got to do, so, we got to do the part where everybody tries things mm -hmm. and then, like, reacts on makes, camera. Makes, like, oh, the yeah. garlic is garlicky. Because people yep. are saying they want to see us eat. Yep, I'm putting the veg down, and then we'll have, like, I'm going to taste a little bit of everything, and then we'll set aside probably the biggest breast, cut out the underside, because it's super larger than all the other ones. Yeah, We'll cut it down to the same size as the other ones, mm. and then we'll try from that breast, so that we can all try some of the chicken. Like that? That fucking chicken had back problems. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it absolutely did. It's very cold over here. Is it? It's because we're right next to the window. Oh, that makes sense. We get some of that drafty. It's even hotter because that's that draftiness. an oven. <laughs> There's also a fridge. Just that's fair. Cold. Oh, yeah, but that's not this window. To the wall. Okay. So. Actually, let me try some of this first. It's oh, delicious. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. It's like delicate. It's delicate. Delicate in my mouth. And, oh, and it's got like a tangy something. I like that. Well, yeah, from all the like. zest. <clears throat> I'm fucking that zest. Shit, yeah. Character good. Oh, I'm glad there's some seeds left here because I'm going to use that for garnish also. Yeah. Do a drizzle. Seed bay. Wait, what are the pine nuts for? They were originally the garnish. Oh. Can you set that somewhere if it's else? Probably. For the moment. I'm just going to hold it. Oh, okay. I'm going to get my knife. I'm going to get my knife. Oh, now that's a knife. This is my meat knife. You're really that cold. You might know, yeah, I'm just uncomfortable with mm. it. Hmm. So I'm just gonna kind of slice out this uh, this tenderloin. This is the only kind of thing that could happen on the internet. Hmm. This is so bizarre. How bizarre? Just how bizarre? <laughs> like <laughs> someone in an Umbreon onesie cutting a chicken, someone else in a Led Zeppelin T-shirt and cute glasses, and you in an apron standing there with a beer holding a plate of sides. This isn't a Led Zeppelin T-shirt. <clears throat> 
Oh, no. Legend. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I love that. It's in the same fucking font. That's why uh, I thought. I know. I'm funny. Lead of clever. Zelda. Yeah. So clever. Yeah. So now, like, cutting into this. Oh, it's pretty. It's all, it's all pretty and white. Good, good. No pink chicken here. So is this our, is this our no pink chicken try it piece? Yep. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to get this glaze back on the fucking chicken where it belongs. Mm-hmm. I feel like we have to be so quiet to be like, I know, right? The chicken's asleep. The chicken's asleep. Oh wait, I have to do the uh, I have to do the Gordon Ramsay fork thing. The That's what, what you uh, stab I was told. And scream at it to die. <laughs> so I was told that you have to do the uh, like you poke it and then you stare at it this way and then you stare at it this way. Oh. <laughs> like when he's inspecting shit on like his his food shows. There you go. Where he just like picks up a piece of meat and he just he does this. Like he's pointing it at you, like you know what you did. That's terrifying. <laughs> you tell me if this is cooked properly, and you're just like, uh, uh I fucking hope so, sir. <laughs> but no, it's white all the way through. It looks like juicy. There's not like it's not dried out. I'm gonna let you. Seth, I'm not eat it. Come eat this chicken. Come get some chicken. Oh time? shit, y'all. Yeah. Wow. What are you doing? I'm just like typing. I was something. waiting for it to be time. Mm-hmm. It is now time. It's okay. time for us to eat the chicken. Fuck out. Yeah. Have that. Put that in your face. Mm. I hear the bond coming downstairs. Mm. <laughs> right? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Wow. I'm gonna save yeah. that for you gonna point it at somebody? Please don't Certainly point it looks me. chickeny. If you're gonna point it at anybody, make it. <laughs> Smells mm. like chicken. I've never had chicken that tender that also looks. Thoroughly safe to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I take that as a very high compliment. Yes. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> you nailed it. Holy fuck. Nailed it, aced it, can't be stopped. Mm. This is when you start saying all the foods that were in it. Honey. And right. Garlic. Yes. <laughs> Words oh, that I mean taste, things. I taste the lemon zest. Oh, it's... And the, I taste the tree from which the olive oil grew. <laughs> there you go. Like, wow. Just really wildly inaccurate. Italy just exploded in my an mouth. olive tree. Wait, wow. Exactly. I'm getting an olive tree. Wait, what? <laughs> No, that is really fucking spectacular. Thank you. All right. I understand exactly what Seth means <laughs> by I have never had chicken so, like, moist. Yeah. And, moist. And, and In a good this way. is what and moist is supposed to remind you. Without me. it being dramatically undercooked. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it is dangerously good. Oh, wow. I'm so glad I get to eat a bits. whole one of those. Yes. yes. So, can oh, you bring to me the, squ- the squishing? Deliver the squishions. Yes, thank you. Deliver to me the squishion. Mm. Okay. Good God. This one's pretty enough. Okay. You want those ones? Wow. Um, ooh, bring me those. Those ones are more mo- pretty. I'm actually going to throw some of these pumpkin seeds on this kale here. Do it. Because reasons. Ooh, yeah. I really I like, like pine nuts, nuts, too, though. I mean, you can have both. I'm gonna. <laughs> What's the oregano for? A garnish. All right. Oh, look how I mean, colorful it is. Mm-hmm. It's all like crusty and mm-hmm. tasty. I'm mm-hmm. gonna do. I'm gonna eat you. Eat you. I'm not a freck. It's <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful flower. Become a beautiful butterfly. Okay, yeah, you can get the thing out of All right. All right. So now we got these. And I'm just going to take some of the pine nuts. The one chicken. <laughs> that, that backhanded method, I see. Right, yeah. It keeps it from, like, falling off the plate and jump. Wait, is this your beer or my beer? This one's mine. Okay. This one's less full. Mm. And, for the final touch, more oregano! Perfect. This is their least favorite part and their most favorite part because they like to watch me do this fancy shit, but they just like really want to eat now. It's so pretty. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a close up, and then I'm gonna set this aside so I can take a picture and everybody else can eat. Close up of the food. We're gonna bring you guys down for this. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Look do the, at that. Do the Beautiful. rotate, the requisite rotate, like a fucking microwave. There you go. 
Compare that beautiful feast to a microwave. Yes, yes, do that. <laughs> do that more. <laughs> All right, fuck yeah. Okay, guys. That's the that's the stuff. Are we done? I think we we're are done. fucking done. We're fucking Thank you guys out. so much for coming in tonight. You guys were amazing. If you have um, certain things that you would like to see us cook, seasonal shit, please yeah. feel free to post up on the Facebook group. We will be streaming every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time, and occasionally, uh, maybe on like Saturdays or Sundays for like fancy themed stuff. <laughs> Exactly. Keep talking. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm aiding. You're, you are aiding? Okay. Every Tuesday night, Eastern Time, here on Twitch. Please tell your friends. <laughs> Please tell your friends. Oh, can we end with a potato cameo? <laughs> Probably. I feel like we need to end with a potato cameo. I feel like he's uh, earned it. Oliver! Him. He's like, what? No! I don't like that! Holy Oliver! Hey. He's so cute. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, here we All go. Right. Well, that's it for us tonight, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Eat well and good night. Potato!